Well, it was lovely to get these letters from some of the children in China, and I really enjoyed reading them. And it was wonderful to know that they've enjoyed the Oxford Reading Tree stories and the adventures of Biff, Chip and Kipper. Now my message to all the children, all over the world really, is how important reading is. Reading's a journey, and when you take that journey, you start at the beginning, and you have a lifelong voyage through books and literature. You learn biography, you learn about people, and the advice I would give to everybody is, don't ask your child to read to you, but read with your child. My aim in the first place was to see if the, ch the children are doing the work when they learn to read. So how can it be fun at the same time? How can it be enjoyable? How can reading be a joy? And so if the Oxford Reading Tree helps the child to learn to read, then that's, I think, the most important thing about it. So why is it called the Oxford Reading Tree? Why is it called a tree? Because it's not, re not a tree, it's reading, isn't it? But a tree has roots. A tree has a trunk and a tree has branches. And so the roots and the trunk and the branches represent different kinds of reading. Because to become a reader, you read lots of different kinds of books, information books, stories, poems. So the tree represents all those different aspects of reading itself. These little characters are so in the style of Biff Chip and Kipper exactly as I, I, as I portrayed them when I wrote the stories. So they are really very useful, I think, as a guide and an aid to reading, as well, as, of course, as being a little friend. I mean, who could not like this little character here? The, the Magic Key is a wonderful device for me as the writer to set Biff, Chip and Kipper into all kinds of interesting and exciting adventures. And my question is, did those adventures really happen was it part of their imagination? For me, the magic key unlocks the door of the imagination. I never had any idea that it would be so popular throughout the world when I first wrote it back in the 1980s, as long ago as that. And I think the reason why it's been successful is it shows the kind of family life that uh, every child knows, the children getting naughty, children getting into trouble, children getting their clothes messed up. So they're very identifiable, the, the characters. My message to the children is keep reading. Love Biff, Chip and Kipper, but move on when you're old enough to even more advanced texts, more, more difficult stories, and enter the world of reading. You learn so much from reading, so my advice and my message is always read, Find reading your companion. If you enter that world, you'll never be lonely ever again. BCK and Oxford Reading Tree are one of the world's best-selling reading programs. And to see one of the characters come alive of such a high standard, beautiful quality was very exciting. And then obviously um, started switching on some of the controls and heard him speaking some of the stories in both English and Chinese was just amazing. International business, it's huge, not just because of the actual monetary value, but because of what it represents in terms of learning and the impact on children and parents and teachers around the world. Oxford University Press, or OEP, is a department of the University of Oxford. We've been printing for 500 years to advance research, scholarship and education through publishing worldwide. So Oxford Reading Tree uses the Oxford Reading Level System. The system is designed to maximise a child's chances of being able to access, read and understand a text. I think that the most important thing for learning strategies with children learning to read is to make it fun.